Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Tuesday, everybody, on the 9th of July. Good to see you, Chuck, Ben. Good to see you. Good to see you, Bob, Grant, Boons, Andrea, my Italian friend from Canada. How's everybody doing? Lita, good to see you. Another Canada favorite. Jerry, Ben, everyone. All right, good, everyone. So hopefully everyone is excited. I think we're now in uh, the prime of uh, getting past this 4th of July weekend. And uh, Tuesdays always, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, always nice little hump days. A couple of things. We did, we, did, did, we did do okay yesterday. There were a couple of things we want to talk about it. But I, there's a pretty decent list here that's going out. We're already starting to see that there's a buyout already uh, in the ACIA this morning. You could see uh, was it Cisco was going to buy them out at 70. I don't know why it's printing at 65, but we'll check that one out too. But, uh, but before we do that, guys, let's just go over what happened yesterday. Then we'll go through some of those stocks on the watch list. Uh, first of all, the SGMO. Um, you know, watch the video uh, I posted on YouTube. And uh, on level four, there was a huge, huge iceberg order on this stock right here. And I think it was like 1380 or something like that. And, uh, uh, no, 13, one of them, I think it was SGMO. And it was a big resistance level on it. And stock just totally tanked. Was not actually not hard to borrow. Yeah, it was. It was actually thirteen eighty, and they saw a big, big iceberg order on level four. If you get a chance, watch that video. It was pretty cool when I called it out, and you could see how it just basically tanked right here, and uh, with that big iceberg order, even with good news that was out there, and I think it went all the way down to twelve twenty. So it wasn't too hard to borrow, and uh, did pretty well. And over the course of the day, it just kind of tanked, but that one did pretty well. What else we had? The S O L Y. That one's actually pretty good right at the open. That one went from like 15 all the way up to about almost $19. That one, uh, ooh, let me just fix this time frame over here. Got it wrong, guys. There we go. It actually went from 12 to 19. So that was actually one of our big, big winners yesterday. That one did really well. Roku, R-O-K-U. Spelt it wrong. R-O-K-U. -R Fat fingers. There we go. That one just like an animal yesterday. You know, listen, I know it's it's out of a, the price range of certain people that are here, but if you are a level four, level five trader, if you're one of the higher end traders that make a half a million, million a year, you know, um, obviously you need money to make money, a lot of money, and you trade, you, especially trade stock like this. You did pretty well on this one. This one just came right out of the gate from from 30, 97 straight up to about 102. That one did really well. But other than that, it wasn't the greatest day, especially, you know, expecting what happened in pre-market on, uh, on a Monday coming back. So things worked out. All right. Now, um, let's go over and see what's going on this morning. There are a couple of stocks. First of all, the ACIA, which I just talked about earlier. Oh, I did in the wrong window. The ACIA right there. Just be very careful with this one. It's a buyout. It was pretty interesting to see. I think Cisco said they would come out with a buyout. But... Listen, the, the, that party sh is has gone. It's sailed. It's shipped. You see what it's like to happen things over pre market. Um, don't really know what the real number is, but it just really kind of just shot up and went right back down. So just take that out. Just wanted to kind of just show you what it looks like. O A C M. That one right there. You could see it from yesterday. It's testing some resistance levels. It's up about ten percent. Thirty five thousand shares. Stock. Uh, you could see in the last couple of days was at a buck fifty to three fifty. That's some good volatility. Good movement. That one, I don't know. We'll put it on our watch list. We see you can, it, it's, it's got a nice little push right here. C-H-E-K. This morning, it, it looked pretty good right here. And all of a sudden, it just kind of came down. I don't know what happened with this. But this one also um, got great volume. 700,000 shares, up almost 18% so far. It was good this morning. But like I earlier, I was talking about it. Uh, big, big seller out there. And remember, it, it's it's all about... Keeping an eye on the orders. Remember what I always tell everyone in class. The less you know, the better it is. And the reason why is this. It doesn't matter what you think. It's what, what, it's what who's out there buying and selling it. You don't got to be a leader. It's okay to be a follower when it comes to trading. Because unless you're Goldman Sachs, Shearson Lehman, you know, any of these big boys, don't try to second guess them. Just follow the money and make your life so much easier. ADMP. Another one I'm going to put on this watch list right here. Nice little cheapy right here. 55,000 shares. Stock took a nice little hit. Looks like it's gapped up a little bit. Could be affordable for some of some of you out there that are just starting out. Nice little level one stock right there. Uh, the, OS, uh, the OASM this is the one we just talked about earlier. 
Uh, I just want to bring it up one more time because even though you're watching what's happening in the pre-market, you got to focus on what happened yesterday because it is testing some major, major resistance level. ALT, I don't know what happened. This thing just died. You know, it looked good, right, Ken? I know, I know you're saying it looked good, but I don't know what happened. It, it, was, it looked better earlier, but just kind of just died. But it is trading a million shares already in pre-market, up about 12%. Got, you know, got a very decent spread. You could probably trade a lot of shares of it. So that one uh, also looks pretty good. T-Y-M-E is the other one. This stock, uh, level one stock, throw this back on the, throw this on a watch. It's not a lot of volume, 22,000 shares, but it's okay. What else we got? This CEI. Now, <laughs> this, is, this is like sad, okay? This is really, really sad. So stock, you know, it's up. I don't know if this is a bottom fish or whatever, but... From last year, the stock was $160, okay? It's at two. How about this? You want to see something even worse? Stock was at $1,200. I mean, is that even possible? I mean, I guess, right? Can you all, we all know about dryers, <laughs> all the stock splits and reverse splits. But um, is that even, I mean, it's just, could you imagine? I mean, it actually makes no sense. I mean, it makes sense, but, you know, I don't know. Could be a bottom fish now. Maybe, uh, maybe now all of a sudden people are going to start bottom fishing at two. Maybe they think it's going to go back to one hundred and twenty thousand. <laughs> it was a reverse stock split, I, and that's what it basically is. You know, sometimes they factor in, sometimes they don't. But uh, that's a hell of a, a of a stock split. D R Y S. Yeah, you want to see that one? Yeah, th this one still it's obviously still is the classic. Two million dollars. <laughs> that's right. Two million dollars with all the reverse stock splits. We made so much money on this stock. Um, I also gave a lot of money. I gave a lot back to it. You know, I kept chasing it a little bit. But um, but anyway, it, it could happen, guys. It could happen. So be very very careful thinking that these things don't happen. Anyway, looks like she's got some big movement here. So we'll keep an eye on it. See, she's got some support levels. Ben just made uh, fourteen cents on ALT. All right, let's give him a let's give him a nice little applause. Nice way to start the morning. With you, Ben. All right, guys. So listen, it is Tuesday. It's still listen. We're in the summertime. You got to remember, we're not going to get as much action. But I'm telling you right now, the best time to trade is exactly when we're doing the on site. Okay, which is September, September and October, November are the best months of the year to trade. The summer times, listen, July, August, this is a great time to learn. You don't want to learn at the best times of the market. You want to learn to, to kind of understand and get in shape. Think of it like, you know, getting in shape before the summer. You're not going to start getting in shape in June, right? You're going to start in March, you know, and so you could enjoy the summer. So the, the big thing is you're not going to get a lot of action that goes on right now, but you are, we are going to get a few here and there. Just got to kind of like, we're not going to get the five or six that we get every day, but we'll get the one or two. So, and, um, but we'll make the best of it. Just be very careful out there, guys. Okay. Go out there, learn, do your homeworks. Class is coming up. Uh, we're going to be doing the new cycle of the courses that are coming up um, within the next week. So you should be ready to start going at it from, uh, from there. And, you know, remember, you got to learn before you can earn. All right, everyone. For all the new traders that are here, hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. Um, hopefully you talk to education advisor and you see what's going on. Hopefully you're not as confused as, uh, I was when I first got started and everyone else, but that's okay. That's perfectly normal. You know, um, just got to find out if this is something that you want to do and it should be because it is the greatest job in the world for everybody else. All the cyber traders out there, like we always say, see something, say something. All right. Good luck, everyone. We'll see you back at two 30 for the afternoon meeting. Let's have a fun open. Okay.